Dear friends, I am Professor Ratnesh Das. I am from Dr. Hari Singhor Central University that is located in Madhya Pradesh and I am Professor of Organic Chemistry. So friends, today's topic which I have decided will be principles of green chemistry. So we all know ke what is sustainable or green chemistry. So everywhere nowadays you must be hearing or you must be reading green term is mostly used in chemistry. So what is this green chemistry? It means that chemistry should be green and green is the color which is very soothing to our eyes. So whenever we see this green color especially in summers, so we feel very pleasant and we feel happy and some smile automatically your face starts glowing. So what are the principle of this green chemistry? So first of all green chemistry or sustainable chemistry the term was given by Anastas. So he was the person who coined the term green chemistry and once he said ke what is green chemistry. So green chemistry hai kya? Ke jo bhi hum chemistry mein kaam kare, whether we are working in organic, inorganic or physical lab. The compounds or the system or the process which you are following it should be green. So it green means it is not toxic or it is non eco-friendly. So whatever you are doing it should be eco-friendly and it should be non-toxic. So today as I have said ke the topic will be principles of green chemistry. So there are 12 principles. So first principle is prevention of waste or byproducts. So whenever you are working in your lab you have to think and rethink that the minimum waste you will produce that will be your best reaction and you will be helping your environment and your society. So how you will help? You have to prevent the formation of waste in your reaction. So as you can see in the slide waste prevention I have written that stop. So we can't stop our byproducts but what we can do we can minimize the formation of byproducts. So first principle of green chemistry is prevention of waste or byproducts. Second principle is atom economy. So what you understand by economy? This is not the money which we are talking economy. It is atom economy. Means if you are taking two atoms in your reactant, the product formed must contain those two atoms or what we can see you all must be knowing efficiency ke jitna bhi aap reactant le, the same amount of reactant if that is converted into product that is the best reaction you have done and least risk to the environment because kya hoga ke agar aapne 10 gram reactant liya 10 gram product ban gaya means you have not formed any byproduct aap jo bhi karna chah rahe the you have satisfactorily and you have very successfully converted your whole reactant into your product. So no byproduct is formed. So what is atom economy? Atom economy describes the conversion efficiency of chemical process in terms of all atoms involved. As I have said, if you have 10 gram reactant, liya, 10 gram aapka product ban gaya, means you have achieved atom economy. Third principle is minimization of hazardous products. So friends whenever you are working in lab it is definite ke if you have entered chemistry lab some hazardous products or compounds or chemicals you are using. So first of all hame kya karna hai? we have to minimize the use of hazardous compound and once you will minimize these in your reactant state means you will minimize the formation of hazardous compound. So whenever practicable synthetic methods should be designed to use and generate substance that possess little or no toxicity to people or the environment. So sabse pehle what we have to remember ke we have to frame your reaction in such a way that least toxic or least hazardous products are being formed. Suppose you are taking A and B and if you want to form C. So, ye to theek hai, aapne A liya, B liya, your product C is formed. C must not be hazardous. Ye to aap dhyan rakhenge ke koi aap 
हेजार्डर तो कंपाउंड सिंथेसाइज नहीं कर रहे हैं बट इन बिटवीन वेन यू आर सिंथेसाइजिंग ए सी फ्रॉम ए एंड बी कुछ ना कुछ बाई प्रोडक्ट जरूर बनेगा एंड वेन एवर दीज बाई प्रोडक्ट्स आर फॉर्म्ड दीज बाई प्रोडक्ट्स आर हेजार्डस टू द पर्सन इन द लैब एज वेल एज टू द एनवायरमेंट सो थर्ड प्रिंसिपल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस अगेन एंड अगेन के वी हैव टू मिनिमाइज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हेजार्डस प्रोडक्ट्स और फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हेजार्डस बाई प्रोडक्ट सो दिस इज द ग्राफ यू कैन सी मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ हेजार्डस प्रोडक्ट नाउ फोर्थ यू हैव टू डिजाइन सेफर केमिकल्स सो वॉट आर सेफर केमिकल्स हम वो केमिकल्स यूज करें जो केमिकल्स आर नॉन टॉक्सिक टू एनवायरमेंट एंड नॉन टॉक्सिक टू द पर्सन वर्किंग इन द लैब बिकॉज इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग दिस सेफर केमिकल्स इट्स डेफिनेट एंड यू विल बी सींग दैट आफ्टर द रिएक्शन दीज chemicals will be formed as hazardous by products and once they are formed it is very difficult to decompose or degrade these chemicals so chemical products should be designed to effect their desired function while minimizing their toxicity aisa na ho ki aap koi do reactant le aur kuch aisa compound banaye jo khud hi toxic ho so it will harm you as well it, it will affect our environment so we have to design safer chemicals so what are those safer chemicals those safer chemicals are the compounds or the solvents or the reactants which you are using in your reaction they should be non toxic or non hazardous to the environment so we have to think and rethink about designing safer chemicals so as i have told ke i am from organic background so the students who must be knowing something about organic they all know ke whenever we do any reaction we use many and many types of solvents so these solvents and auxiliaries these all are mostly we are using in organic reaction suppose we are using chloroform so chloroform you as all know or carbon tetrachloride this chloride whenever chloride comes into our environment it will cause pollution and it will affect animal human as well as our vegetation so these solvents and auxiliaries are mostly used in organic lab and whenever we are doing any reaction as you all must be knowing we make many derivatives of our product so the use of auxiliary substance like solvents our separating agents they should be made unnecessary whenever possible so what we have to think and remember that we have to use safer solvent or auxiliaries and we have to focus that these solvents are non toxic because if once you will take these chlorides they are definitely going to harm our environment so you here you can see the safer solvent and auxiliaries so you can see ke we have taken each and everything are now green instead of talking about ionic liquids now people are talking about greener liquids so we have to remember that the auxiliaries or the solvents you are using those are least or no toxic to the environment as well as to the human beings now sixth principle is design for energy efficiency so energy requirement of any chemical process should be recognized for their environmental and economic impacts and it should be minimized so what we have to do before starting of your any reaction whether organic inorganic physical you have to think that the energy requirement of your chemical process should be minimum because this energy whatever comes out from the lab that energy is definitely harming our environment so we have to design for energy efficiency and if possible synthetic methods should be conducted at eminent temperature and pressure so whenever we are doing any synthetic reaction so we have to do that reaction at room temperature and minimum pressure because once you are increasing the temperature the temperature of our universe or our planet or our surroundings is going to increase so we have to design or frame our reaction in such a way that temperature and pressure should be minimum 
सो यू हैव टू थिंक एंड रीथिंक फॉर एनर्जी एफिशियंसी नाउ वॉट इज एनर्जी एफिशियंसी सो डेवलपिंग द ऑल्टरनेटिव फॉर एनर्जी सो नाउ डेज इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग दीज गैसेज और समथिंग एल्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर डेवलपिंग फोटोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सो कुछ नहीं करना आपको अपने रिएक्टेंट लेना है यू हैव टू कीप दोज रिएक्टेंट इन योर रिएक्टिंग वी वेसल एंड यू कैन कीप दैट वेसल इन सनलाइट सो फ्रॉम सनलाइट यू विल गेट दीज फोटोन्स यू विल गेट दैट एनर्जी सो इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग दोज कैटलिस्ट एंड एक्स वाई जेड सब्सटेंस वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर नाउ डूइंग फोटो रिएक्शन सो वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू द पाथ टूवर्ड्स एनर्जी एफिशियंसी नाउ वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज यूज ऑफ रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक सो स्टूडेंट्स यू मस्ट बी नोइंग के रॉ मटीरियल विच वी यूज इज ऑफ टू टाइप रिन्यूएबल एंड नॉन रिन्यूएबल सो वी हैव टू यूज रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक बिकॉज वी कैन रिसाइकल इट अगेन एंड अगेन सो दिस इज द यूज ऑफ रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक नाउ नेक्स्ट इज इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एज आई हैव टोल्ड के वॉट वी डू वी मेक अ प्रोडक्ट देन वी मेक टेन पंद्रह बीस पच्चीस उसके डेरीवेटिव सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग फॉर डेरीवेटाइजेशन you have to think that we have to reduce the use of waste material and we have to use our whole reactant that will be converted into product so reduced derivatization will what it will help it will help in you decreasing the use of additional reagent degenerate more waste product more time high cost of product hence it requires a reduced derivatives so what you have to think you have to reduce derivatization of your रिएक्शन सो नेक्स्ट इज कैटलिस्ट सो फ्रेंड्स यू मस्ट बी नोइंग वॉट आर कैटलिस्ट कैटलिस्ट आर नथिंग बट द सब्सटेंस दैट इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो हाउ दिस इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन दिस कैटलिस्ट वेन एवर यू आर टेकिंग सपोज यू हैव टेकन टू मॉलिक्यूल्स सो दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स विल कोलाइड जब ये मॉलिक्यूल्स आपस में टक्कर करते हैं तो कुछ नया प्रोडक्ट बनता है मगर ऐसा नहीं होगा कि जितनी बार मॉलिक्यूल टक्कर करे उतने ही नए प्रोडक्ट्स बने so what we call effective collisions so whenever effective collision is there your product is definitely going to form so there is a time or what we called as energy cycle so what catalyst does catalyst reduce the activation energy and your reaction continues without decreasing the activation energy next principle is designing of degradable products so the chemical products that you have designed or you have taken they should be degraded after their use aisa na ho ki jo hum compound banaye uska kaam bhi ho jaye aur wo compound as it is pada rahe to wo kya hoga that compound will pollute and it will harm our environment so what we have to focus we have to think that the compound which you are forming it should be degradable means it should be degraded into small by products and next principle is new analytical methods so analytical methodologies need to be further developed to allow real time monitoring so what is real time monitoring whenever you are taking two reactants to form a product in dono reactants jab a aur b aapne liye to inke beech mein kya ho raha hai kitni der mein ho raha hai that is real time monitoring means between the reaction we have to mon monitor what product is going to be formed after completion of your reaction and the last principle that is 12th principle is safer chemical for accident prevention you have to remember this ke jo bhi aap kaam kare lab mein it should not be hazardous it should not the products form should not catch fire no explosion should be there so analytical substance and the form of a substance used in chemical process should be chosen to minimize the potential for chemical accidents including release explosion and fires so what you have to think and remember you have to use safer chemicals that won't catch fire or that won't explode before the reaction or after the reaction so you have to remember what you have to remember ki you have to take the chemicals which are not prone to explosion or फायर सो वॉट आर दी सब्सटेंस अगर आप केमिस्ट्री में काम करते हैं तो जो कंपाउंड कंटेनिंग नाइट्रोजन और सल्फर दे आर वेरी प्रोन दैट दे विल वंस यू मिस दे विल कैच एक्सप्लोजन और फायर वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग ईथर और बेनजीन 
these two substances are also volatile. If you keep fire, अगर आपका burner भी इनके पास आ जाएगा तो your whole lab is going to burn because benzene is hundred times more flammable than our petrol. So you have to remember कि whenever you are working, never take benzene, never take ether. इन दोनों सब्सटेंस को कभी भी आग के पास नहीं लाएं, बिकॉज इफ योर फायर इज हियर एंड योर बॉटल ऑफ बेंजीन इज हियर इट विल कैच फायर ऐसा भी नहीं कि आपको इसके पास लाना पड़ेगा इफ इट इज 10, 20 मीटर्स फार अवे इट्स 100 परसेंट डेफिनेट दैट योर बॉटल इज गोइंग टू बर्न एंड यू विल अफेक्ट योर सेल्फ एज वेल एज द लेब इन विच यू आर वर्किंग सो यू हैव टू नेवर यूज बेंजीन एंड ईथर इन और वेरी क्लोज टू फायर सो यू हैव टू यूज सेफर केमिकल्स एंड वाई यूजिंग दिस सेफर केमिकल्स यू विल प्रिवेंट फायर एंड एक्सप्लोजन सो फ्रेंड्स दीज वेर ट्वेल्व प्रिंसिपल्स वॉट वी फॉलो एंड वॉट वी मस्ट यूज वाइल वर्किंग इन लैब एंड दीज ट्वेल्व प्रिंसिपल्स आर द प्रिंसिपल्स वॉट वी कॉल ट्वेल्व प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री